Hi everyone, welcome to today's GCSE Foundation Revision video. It's 39 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be focused on the use of a calculator. So it's very important you can use your calculator because you might be doing questions such as the area of the circle or standard form or arithmetic refractions on the calculator paper and so on. And you might be allowed to use your calculator and it's very important you can use it. You can type in fractions or you can do standard form or you can find pi in your calculator and things like that. But also you may be given a question which is based on just the use of a calculator. So it might have a fraction, it might have some powers or roots and so on. And you might have to work it out and write down your calculator display or to write your answer to two or three significant figures and so on. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some questions to try yourself. So here we've got 7.55 squared. Can you press pause now and work this out in your calculator? Okay, so our first question is to work out 7.55 squared. So if I wanted to work out 7.55 squared, I'll first of all turn on my calculator and I'll press 7.55. And then in terms of squared, there's the squared button there, that little X with the squared above it, like so. So for squared and then press equals. And then whenever I do that, I may get a fraction like so. And um, if I wanted my answer as a fraction, that'd be fantastic. If I didn't, then I'd press the SD button here and that'll change that into a decimal force. So it's 57.0025 and that's it. So 7.55 squared is 57.0025. And if you got that, well done. If you've got a different model of calculator, so if you've got a calculator that looks like this one here and you wanted to work out for, uh, 7.55 squared, again, let's turn it on and we'll press 7.55 and then the squared button here is this one it's a little white square of the squared above it so press that so you can now get squared and press equals or exe execute so we've now again got a fraction if you didn't want a fraction and you want a decimal instead you press the format button there and then press down and decimal and execute again and then i'll give you answer 57.0025 okay so if you work this out you should have got 57 0.0025 and if you got that well done okay next can you work out 1.2 cubed so type down your calculator 1.2 cubed and see if what you get okay our next question is to work out 1.2 cubed so 1.2 and this button has a cubed button there so that little x with the three above it so we can press cubed and then press equals and then again we've got a fraction so we can press the sd button if we want a decimal so it'll be 1.728 and if you got that well done if you have this calculator and we want to work out 1.2 cubed we'd press 1.2 now in terms of cubed what we're going to do is we're going to press the power button here this one here the square with the little square above it like so and then press 3 and exe and again it comes up as a fraction if you want the decimal press format and then press down and then press exe and then again we get 1.728 so that's equal to 1.728. And if you got that, well done. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question, can you work out five to the power of six? So making sure you know where that power button is in your calculator. So work out five to the power of six and see what you get. Okay, and if we wanna work out five to the power of six on this calculator, we press five. The power button is this X with a little square above it, like so, so you can press that button and then press six and then press equals. And then we get 15,625. That's just to say that you could actually have used this button for the cube. So you could have pressed, for instance, on the last one, we could have done 1.2 and then that button and typed in 3. And then you can press equals and that would cube it. You could even use it for squared. So for instance, the first one, the 7.55 squared, again, you could press that button and type in 2. So you can type in any power you want there, press equals. And then obviously get it as a decimal. And that's it. So that's the power button, that's the squared button, and that's the cube button. And they're going to be useful for you. Now, in terms of this calculator, if we wanted to work out five to the power of six, we press five to the power of that button again, and then six, and then press equals. And again, we've got 15,625. Okay, so the answer would be 15,625. And if you got that, well done. Okay, next. Okay, it's important you know where the square root button is in your calculator. So can you work at the square root of 61.6225? Okay, let's have a look at our roots. So this time we've got the square root of 61.6225. So let's press the square root button. So here there's the square root button. And we've got 61.6225. And then press equals. And we've got an answer of 157 over 20, or as a decimal, 7.85. So if we wanted to work out the square root of 61.6225, we could press the square root button, which is this one. And then we've got 61.6225. 225 and then press equals again we get that fraction so then press the format press down decimal and then you get our 7.85 that we wanted and if you got that well done okay next can you work out the cube root of 4913 in terms of the cube root in this calculator it's quite nice it's got a cube root button just above the square root so if we press shift and square root we can then get the cube root and then we can type in 4913 
and then press equals and that gives us the answer of 17. I uh, just say that's obviously square root above it is cube root if you do want any other roots then here above the power button so for instance if you wanted the fourth root of something you could press shift and then the power button and then you could put a type in four and the fourth root of perhaps 16 and then press equals so then you've got the square root the cube root and the other roots there so you just press shift to get up the cube root and shift to get up the other roots and that's it in terms of the other calculator and in terms of the cube root well we're going to have to use the other roots button here which is just above the square root so we're going to press shift and the square root button so we've now got our other roots we can type in three for the cube root then press to the right with a cursor and then type in 4913 and then press equals and then the cube root of that will be 17 and that's it and whenever you work that out you should get the answer of 17 and if you got that well done Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make things a little bit more complicated. So rather than just having squares and cubes and things like that, we've now got a fraction. So make sure you know where the fraction button is in your calculator. So can you work this out in your calculator, please? Can you work out 1.9 multiplied by 121.5 over 30 subtract 4.35? So can you work that out now? Okay, so if we want to work this out in our calculator, we're going to press the fraction button to begin with. So the fraction button's here. Then we're going to type in the numerator, which is 1.9 multiplied by 121.5. So that's the numerator. Then we're going to press down. Now we're going to type in the denominator, which is 30 subtract 4.35. And then we press equals, we get an answer of 9. And that's how we do it in that calculator. If we have this one here, this type of calculator here, again, you can just clear that and then press the fraction button, which is here. And then we can then type in the numerator, 1.9 multiplied by 121.5, and then press down with the cursor. And then we can type in our denominator of 30 subtract 4.35. When we press equals again, we get the answer of nine. And whenever you work that out, you should get the answer of nine. And if you got that, well done. Okay, next. Okay, this time we've got a fraction as well, but we've also we've got the square root as well. So can you work this out in your calculator? 19.1 subtract 2.5 over the square root of 20. Okay, next, again, we're going to press the fraction button and we're going to type in our numerator, 19.1 subtract 2.5. So that's the numerator. And then press down. And now we want the square root of 20. So we're going to press the square root button of 20 and then press equals. And then that gives us our answer of 83 root 5 over 50 but if we want a decimal we press the sd button and we get 3.7111872843 i think i've said that all right and then in terms of our other calculator again we want to clear that we're going to press the fraction button and we're going to type in the numerator 19.1 subtract 2.5 and press down and then the denominator of the square root of 20 and then press equals and again, we've got our thirds, and now we want to get a decimal, so we're going to press format and down decimal and press equals, and we get 3.7118 and so on. And that's it. And whenever you work that out, you should get the answer of 3.7118728443. Alternatively, it may have come up as 83 root 5 over 50 and so on, but that's what you'd get. Okay, next. Okay, this time we've got a fraction and we've got a square root and so on. So it's important we know how to use the cursor button to move your cursor around on your calculator. So feel free to work this out now. Okay, so this time we've got a fraction, so we're going to press our fraction to begin with, our fraction button, and then on the numerator, 398, and then press down, and the denominator, 1.98, and then we've got cubed, so remember this calculator does have a cube button, which I like, which is there, and now we want to do subtract the square root of 102, so we're going to press to the right, so then goes there, and then subtract, and then we're going to do the square root of 102, and then we press equals, and then that gives us an answer of 41.17335 and so on. Okay, and then on our other calculator, again, we're going to press the fraction button, which is here. We're going to type in the numerator, 398, and press down. And the denominator is 1.98. And then we want cubes, so we're going to have to press the power button this time, and then type in 3, and then press to the right, and then to the right again. And now we're up here, and then subtract the square root of 102. Then press equals and again we get our 41.17335 and so on and whenever you work that out you should have got the answer of 41.17335013 and if you got that well done okay next let's have a look at our next one okay this time we've got a square root we've got a fraction we've got some brackets and we've got a cubed as well so can you type this into your calculator please and work this out okay in terms of this question what we're going to do is we're going to do the square root and then we've got a fraction so we're going to press the fraction button on the numerator, we've got 9,080, and then we're going to press down. 
And on the denominator, we've got brackets. We need to open up our brackets this time. So it'll be this button. And then we're going to type in our 4.7. And then we've got subtract 0.866. And then we've got close brackets. And then we want cubed. And again, this calculator has a cube button. So we press that one. And that's what we wanted. So then we press equals. And we get the answer of 12.69301 and so on. In terms of the other calculator, again, we're going to press the square root to begin with, and then the fraction button. On the numerator, that's equal to 9080, and then we're going to press down. And on the denominator, we want to open up our brackets. So they're over here now, so we're going to press open up the brackets, and then 4.7, subtract 0 0.866, close brackets, and then we want cubes, so we're going to have to press the power button, and then 3, and then press equals. And again, we get the answer of 12.69301 and so on. And that's it. And whenever you work that out, you should get an answer of 12.69301407. And that's it. And if you got that, well done. And that's it. So in this video, we've gone through the use of a calculator. It's also important at this stage, obviously, there's 39 days to go to your GCSE maths exam, to have your calculator to all your lessons, bring it to all your lessons, and make sure whenever you've got your past papers and so on, you've got your calculator. I would typically have two calculators because I like to have two calculators just to make sure that if one ever breaks or anything happens to one, I've got a spare one. Uh, maybe that's just me. Uh, but make sure you've got at least one calculator to all your lessons from now on and make sure you're organized and you're prepared for your GCC maps exam. So keep up the hard work and I'll see you tomorrow for 38 days to go to your GCC maps exam. Cheers. Bye.